Now, one of the most difficult things to do when first starting out publishing low and no content books on Amazon KDP is where to begin. When it comes to creating your first book, it can seem daunting and scary to take that first step into the world of publishing. But don't worry, because today I'm going to be showing you how to make a black paper notebook complete with all the necessary information you need to be able to hit that publish button and start making sales. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, first things first, I went ahead and did a search on Amazon for black paper notebook. And these are the results that we see. As we can see, there's 9,000 results. We can see that a niche score of 64. And with this plugin, they recommend at least a 50 or above. If we go and take a look down here, we can see that there are numerous books that are ranked very, very well. Like this book has a BSR, a bestsellers rank of 16,000. There is this book that has a rank of 26,000. And then this book that has a rank of 28,000. So looking at this keyword, we know that there are books that are selling well in this niche. However, there's 9,000 results and that's not something we want to compete with. So I went ahead and did a little bit of researching and I found black paper notebook for white ink. And this is a little bit better because this has 570 results. And to be competitive, we want 1,000 results and below. It has a niche score of 53, which is above the 50. And if we scroll down the page, we can see that there is one book here that's selling well. It's ranked at 142,000. We have a couple more books here, like this book right here at 164,000. We have this book at 211,000. So there are a lot of independently published books here that are selling well. So now we have verified that if we create a book for this niche and this keyword, that there is a good chance that we might be making sales. So the first step in doing that is to create a cover. And in order to create the cover, the first thing we want to do is to head over to Amazon KDP. So here we are on Amazon KDP's cover calculator. And the first thing that we want to do is just go through this. So the binding type is going to be paperback. Interior type is going to be black and white. Paper type, white paper, page turn direction, left to right, measurement units, inches, and then the interior trim size, we're going to be building an eight and a half by 11, which is right here, with a page count of 120. And then we go ahead and calculate the dimensions. And right here, where it says full cover, this is gonna be what we put into Canva to create our cover, 17.52 by 11.25. We're gonna go ahead and download the template so that we can go ahead and use it on Canva. So this is what the template looks like. And as you can see right here, the overall dimensions, 11.52 by 11.25 inches. So this, we're gonna go ahead and go to Canva and create our document right now. Now, once you're on Canva, you wanna go ahead and click custom size and put in those numbers that we got from Amazon, which is 17.52 and 11.25 inches. Go ahead and click create new design. What we wanna do is drag that template, drag it into Canva like this. And then now that it's on Canva, we can go ahead and make it fit the page so that we know where we can create our cover and where to stay away from. So anything in this red area is out of live, which is the bleed area. And this is a place where we do not want to put logos or text or essential images. We also have this black line, which is where the cut is probably going to be when it gets produced. And then we have these dashes right here that go vertical. These dashes are the fold lines. This is where the book will be folded. And then anything in the white area is basically where you want to do and create your design. So what I like to do is I like to put the transparency down just so I can barely see it, but it's still there. And then I like to lock the page so it doesn't move when you're creating your design. Now, going back to Amazon, I found some designs that I saw were selling well. So I'm gonna show you them right now. So here on Amazon, I noticed this type of design right here 
as well as this design right here seems to do pretty well. Similarities in these covers include the lines being on the cover as well as this kind of design right here where it has flowers or roses or plants. So when we're making our cover, we're going to do something similar to this. But instead of doing flowers like these, maybe we'll do something else in terms of animals or fruits or food, we're going to try to find something that differentiates us to these notebooks. The first things first is we want to probably make the color of the cover black. So put a shape and just make it fill the entire page. I like to extend it beyond the area. And so now what we want to do is we want to put the lines that were on the other book. So let's go ahead and click on elements and pick this line under shapes and as we can see there is the line and we want to just change the line weight to one and then we want to just duplicate this as many times as we can to fill in the page so that it turns into a notebook and then what we want to do is press position tidy up so as we can see it straightened it up we can go ahead and just extend it beyond the page and then we can just drag right here and resize it to how we want. So I'm just going to extend it all the way through. So now that we have this, I wanna put a spine here so we know where the front and the back is. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another square here. I'm just gonna position it to the center, extend it beyond the page, and I'm going to color this uh, white right there. And then if you go like this, you can see right here where the fold is and I kind of don't want it this thick. So let's go ahead and make it smaller. I just want it to extend enough so you can still see that there's a white border right here. We can go ahead and move this back. And then now what we want to do, actually, I feel like there's too many lines. So I'm going to go ahead and delete maybe three and then go ahead and select all of it again and I'm just going to rearrange it which I still think there's that's too many lines so I'll go ahead and delete even more and do this and that's looking a little bit better so now that we have this we want to create our title so go ahead and click text here add this heading and this is going to be a black paper notebook <laughs> Okay, so we have this black paper notebook. Let's go ahead and center this here. And let's just put this somewhere like this now. We're just a bit. Now we wanna put our graphics or our elements on here. So if you remember the other covers, they had flowers, roses, plants, but we really don't wanna do that. We kinda wanna stay away from copying. So I was thinking maybe we should put some fruits, maybe strawberries, let's do, let's just search fruits here. Okay, so I found some graphics here that I think would do well. So all I'm going to do is resize them and find a little pattern or just put them in a way that looks really nice. Okay, maybe something like that. And then now I just want to play around with this title and find the best positioning for it. And so there we go. I'm kind of happy with this cover design. So now that we're done with this, we have to create the interior. So in order to create the interior, we have to open a new document. This new document is going to be 8.5 inches by 11 and then create new design. The first page that we want to do is probably create a this belongs to page. So let's go ahead and do that. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and color all these pages black because it is a black page notebook. Now when we put the text, I kind of want to use the text that we have here, which is this font. And then put in a line down here, change the line weight to one and then just extend it. Now the other thing I like to do is I like to use this template from Tangent Templates that will tell me where the margins are for my document so we can stay away from this purple area right here where we, we don't want to be because if we put anything like text on there amazon's not going to approve it now that's done we go to the next page this is going to be the back page of the first page and this is where we can start creating our lines how to do that you just click elements click that line change the line weight to one 
make sure the line is white. If it's not already white, make sure to choose white and then go ahead and extend it so it is the closest to this purple margin here, like that. And then go ahead and make as many lines as you feel necessary to create this notebook. Okay, there you go. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and duplicate this page. So just click on duplicate. And then we want to change out this template for the other template because this is the left side page. We want it now on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that first page and put it on here. And then what we want to do is just rearrange these lines so that it fits on this margin here. And then now we can delete this template, delete this template, and then delete this. So now that we have these pages right here ready to go, I kind of want to put a little bit of art or something fun on this paper just to differentiate from the notebooks that are already there. So I want to go ahead and click on elements. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and copy this and duplicate it on this page, just rearrange it. And then now we have this type of page black paper notebook right here. Duplicate the pages until it's 120 pages and then that'll be the full interior. And so once you're done with that, it should look a little something like this, where this is your cover right here. And then when you open the book, you get an interior that looks like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this interior as well as the cover and keywords specific for this black paper notebook in my Gumroad shop. The link is down below if you wanna go check it out. Go ahead and do that. Feel free to use this for yourself or as for inspiration to create your first low and medium content book on Amazon KDP. With that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and hopefully you're able to implement it into your KDP low and medium content publishing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know what kind of video you want to see me do next. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.